Buddies. Buddies. Good evening, buddies. It's the Ron and Fez show. We are live. Eight six six two seven seven forty nine sixty nine. That is the toll-free phone number. We are live on a good Friday. Hope you're having a great good Friday. I'm having a good Friday. i got to tell you the truth. You having a good one? It would be a better Friday if I could have some meat. There's no meat on a good Friday. I never, I don't understand that. Why no meat? You know what? I don't know where that comes from. Why you're not allowed to have meat on the Fridays during Lent. And especially Good Friday. Which is even meaty less. I always heard that the no meat on Friday thing started because the Catholic Church was trying to help out the Italian fishing industry and thought, hey, if we could take one day and everybody eats fish, you know, we'll start to move the economy over here. But I don't know how that got tied into no meat on Good Friday. Well, I guess sound economic policy, but boy, that has really hung on. I want to be uh, a good Christian, but I want to be a good Christian that has a nice party dinner. It seems like you should be able to do both. Yeah. Now, I am a Lutheran, and we, we, my dad never let us have the meat on Friday during Lent. He always brought home fish for us. Sure. Fish or pancakes. That was nice. a big thing when I was a kid. Uh, speaking of that, Fezzy, a uh, question for you from Tom. Tom, you're on Fez. Oh, hey, it's Tom yeah. from Hoboken here. Hey, hey, brother. I have a uh, theological question for you. Oh, yes, please. How is it that your living God can have a stroke? That's the truth. Your God, uh, Luther Vandross, had a stroke yesterday. And I would say God bless him, but I guess that's who you guys worship anyway. Now, I am a Lutheran, but I don't worship Luther Vandross. But Martin Luther King is dead, so who do you worship? Yeah, which one of it is it? It's, are you Martin Luther King? Thank you very much for calling, Tom. Martin Luther King is who you guys worship? No, it's not Martin Luther King either. We worship God. We worship Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The only Lutherans I ever knew about, other than you, was that whole David Koresh thing down in Waco. They were Branch Davidians. They weren't Lutherans. Oh, I'm thinking of Jim Jones. He was a Lutheran. No, no he wasn't. Why do Lutherans drink so much Kool-Aid? <laughs> and isn't it bad? We don't drink Kool-Aid. And we weren't part of the Jim Jones, the People's Church or whatever it was. What are you? Why be a Lutheran when you could just be a Christian? I am and, a Christian who's a Lutheran. Pope. And follow the Pope like a real Christian. <laughs> We just don't follow the Pope. We're Lutheran. One thing about being Catholic, I'd really like to see our leader get a little bigger, a little thicker. We, get, getting kind of scrawny. Yeah. Getting pretty, kind of frail. Well, he came into the game pretty old and pretty frail, and now he's hung around, what, 20-some years since then? Yeah, he's been Pope forever. Yeah, well... 20 years? Uh, yeah. Over? I guess that's forever when Luther Vandross <laughs> is... Well, it all started. Luther Vandross is not who we worship. You think he and we had... feel bad that he had a stroke and we'll say prayers for him. That's not something you guys cause, like some kind of Lutheran voodoo thing? No, we had nothing to do with what happened to Luther Vandross. Did you have any meat today? No. Neither did I. I'm, I'd love to have some meat. I had a cheese omelet. That was what I had. That's it? That is it. What can we eat tonight? And potatoes. We're going to have tuna fish. We're going to have tuna fish from the deli. <laughs> Why what would you do it like that? That doesn't make me want tuna anymore. What about some pizza with some pepperoni and sausage on it? No, that's meat. We'll put it under the peppers. <laughs> you, God's going to find your meat. I don't think a little bit of Wait pepperoni... Wait a minute. I don't think... I just like that. I don't think a little pepperoni is going to throw me off. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bennington, looks like you're ready to go to heaven. Wait a minute. What's this pepperoni uh, mark I see here? I'm sure you could get away with it if you really, really wanted some meat. Oh, I'll get away with it. Believe me. But I guess it's all supposed to be part of the sacrifice. What I'm not, I'm saying don't fry it. Grill. Nice grilled meat. It's a lot less uh, fat that way. I don't think at any point they said just have grilled meats on Good Friday. But it wouldn't make, it would be about the same because I don't think the meat thing came out of the Bible. I don't think that was God or Jesus who said that. Well, if anybody knows where the no meat comes from, but why Good Friday now? It's just Good Friday and the Friday is during Lent. 866-277-4969, 866-277-49. Let me ask you this as a Lutheran because I know nothing about your religion. Sure. I'll help you out. Do you guys think that uh, Luther Vandross is going to get up and walk in three days? No. After a stroke? 
No, just because he had a stroke on Monday Thursday doesn't mean he's going to get up and rise on Easter. He's just the man. Then why worship him? We don't worship him. We enjoy his music. Who doesn't? That's, that's sweet music to make love to. <laughs> that crosses all boundaries. Like I said to the ladies, baby, relax. Drink some wine. I'm going to put on some Luther. Luther's problem is you can't keep yo-yoing with the body weight. What about Yo-Yo Moss, the other person? Who said there's always room for cello? Yeah. That was a big joke. <laughs> That's a joke Harry Elvis could uh, pull off. Here's Kim. Kim, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Kim. Oops. Hold on. Got a problem with that one. Kim, there you are. Hey. Hey. I know where the, the not eating meat on Fridays thing came from. It used to be you could never eat meat on Fridays, period. It was supposed to be to cleanse your mind and your body to go to Mass on Sunday. But, but well, why eat meat? All right, hold on. Then why eat meat on Saturday? Yeah, you can have it on Saturday. I guess picnic. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it was always Maybe. supposed to be on Friday, though. And then Vatican II came along, and they said, you can eat meat any Friday you want except. Vatican II? Or, you know, here's yeah. A, yeah, Vatican II, a lot more special effects, but a lot less story. And it's yeah. all blend. Vatican II was where they updated the Catholic Church. That's when we stopped speaking Latin in our Sunday Masses. When did Vatican II come around? I've never heard that term. Wasn't that the 60s, Kim? It was 58. 58. 1958 was Vatican II. And, and then, they, stopped oh, saying they, they stopped making the priest put his back to the earth. Right. They stopped they, saying the Mass in Latin. It was supposed to bring us into the next millennium or something. Right. Uh, so before that, it was Just all... Checked. And then, you know, why, why I brought the 60s and even to the early 70s, churches were slower to even adopt all that because they, you know, especially the... Older Italian ladies, older Polish ladies, they really like their Latin masses. That had to be a huge shakeup. Yeah. I, I can't imagine. Oh, here's what the, here's the actual quote of the Pope. Shake it up. So, I mean, he was looking to shake things up. But, yeah, do you understand, Fez, that it would only be in Latin. Nobody had to know anything. It was fantastic. You would just sit there and daydream. And now, you know, you're paying attention a lot more. Now you're actually almost participating in it. Yeah. Well, something else, too, that when I was in Catholic school, we used to have the candy drive. And it, whatever class sold the most candy would get a pepperoni pizza feast on a, on Good Friday before we went out right. for break. And it was like we got a dispensation from the bishop up in Baltimore because we sold the most candy. It was the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> they That's, broke the so, Good Friday rule. No, 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 no Fez. You, you, There's the word that you use. It's special dispensation. What does that mean? It means the Pope has blessed you so you can do it. Wow. Exactly. Exactly, because you're a good Catholic child, and you went out and you raised money. You did something good. It's like it's like winning a trip or something. Nice. Now, what I, I love like, a church with prizes. I would like to get a um, special dispensation to have some meat on my pizza tonight. How do we go about that? So we have to start selling candy quick. I guess so. We keep eating it around here. We can't we can't go door to door. Of course, you're Lutheran. <laughs> you eat like Luther Vandross. I saw you Finn put Luther, not fat Luther. I saw you putting peanut butter on a frozen <laughs> hot dog the other day. You were starving. It was the only two things I had. And they go great together. Nutty dog. You got hot dog in my peanut butter. You got peanut butter in my hot dog. It tastes great. Nutty dog. Hi, I'm Luther Vandross for Nutty Dog. You ever feel nutty? You ever feel like a dog? I'm Nutty Dog. Chris, you're on Fez. Hey, Ron and Fez. Yeah. Listen, I wanted to ask uh, Fez, uh, is Luther Campbell considered your baby Jesus? Is it two live crew? Is that what a Lutheran is? No, it's, it's not Luther right? Campbell and the rump shakers and anything else. Uh, uh, Jesus is our Jesus. He was banned okay. in the USA. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> What's your mask like? Me so horny. Me love you long time. That is not a hymn in my church. Hey, tell me the truth. Why isn't uh, Luke Campbell still big? I don't understand this. Where is Luther at? You're the one. You're the Lutheran. I am not. We don't worship Luther Campbell. And when was the last time we heard from Luther Campbell? Last thing I heard was banned in the USA. He should have been huge. Yeah, it should have been gigantic. They got a little, uh, you know. Should have had more staying power. I'll tell you another one. That total low with that whole funky cold Medina. That should still be big. The funky? That, that should still be in the charts. I know what we're waiting for. That should, you know, that should definitely still be in the clubs. That gets my groove thing I going. Got, I got another one for you. Where's Young MC? Got old. Not to me. 
He'll always be forever young MC, I call him. <laughs> 866-277-4969. Eric, you're running Fez. I'm gonna make me the one man. Shake it up. How can I be the man, man, man? Shake it up. What's up, fellas? Yeah, buddy. But I Hey, okay, what really tips me out is like how some folks really don't believe they'll be eating fish and say, Oh, I'm not eating meat. They don't believe fish is meat. I'm like, Okay, so what's a fish? A vegetable? Of course it's just an animal <laughs> and stuff, you know? I, I gotta go pick some fish today. I'll <laughs> I, I let you know this. Hey, Something look, doesn't I mean, have to be animal or vegetable. It could be fish. It's seafood. No. And but that goes back to when <laughs> the Pope was trying to revive the meat market back in the Stone Age and stuff. You know, I'm serious, man. But uh, Stone it's like, Age. Uh, well, back in the Bronze Age. Yeah. Like All right, Bronze Age. Yeah. But I heard. I haven't that, had meat in the Bronze Age. <laughs> that was the age of enlightenment, I believe. Hey, I heard Fez and his boys were secretly rooting for Lex Luthor and Superman and stuff. <laughs> we were not. <laughs> that what kind of Lutheran you are? No, we don't cheer for the bad guys. Is that what a Lutheran is? Lex Luthor? It is not Lex Luthor. That's all but being a devil worshiper. Or even Lex Luger. Neither one. I like anybody who acts like vegetarians are lying if they eat some fish. <laughs> Animal, vegetable, mineral, or fish. You should be a vegan. Me? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't be a vegan. Right, here comes Mikey D. Now, you're what? Greek Orthodox? Orthodox. Greek Orthodox. It's not my Good Friday today. Yeah. Next week, it's my Good Friday. But... What, what do you think happened today? That no one died? No. Then we go by the lunar calendar. So we... All right, so I could have a steak today if I was Greek, Greek Orthodox. No, because... So you're Greek Orthodox, but you're worshiping the moon. <laughs> we actually go by the Old Testament, where we follow uh, Passover. Whenever there's Passover, that Sunday afterwards is our Easter. Didn't but... Passover start today? Yeah. And that goes for a week. Right. So once that ends, we know that that's our Easter. All right, so what do you, what, how is your diet changing? Today is where I start not eating any meat whatsoever. Tomorrow I won't eat meat. Um, Sunday I won't eat meat. But then Monday comes nothing from an animal. No eggs, no butter. And here's the thing with the fish. Nothing that bleeds. So I can't have fish. Yeah, shrimp. I can have shrimp. Let me ask you this. Can you have your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Only when it's the rest of us have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me ask. So Greek Orthodox, <laughs> right? What do you believe in now? Apollo? Is that your thing? Where are you going with this? Well, Zeus? We, don't, we don't have a pope. Our, Who uh, runs the joint? Uh, the uh, the Archbishop. There's an Archbishop. Right, so basically, that's your pope. Yeah, that's our pope. Uh, who's your so, pope, Fez? We Luther don't have Van a pope. Luther Vandross, whatever he says goes. He is not our stroke pope. We have a synod. What the hell's that? I think it's a committee. I don't know. Do you have priests? No, we have pastors. <laughs> now, some Lutheran churches, they do have bishops and priests. Our branch of the Lutheran church does not. Oh, so it's catch as catch can with you people. You take a little bit from every... Some of them have rabbis, and one of them will have a witch doctor. <laughs> there is no rabbis or shamans. Where do you go every year? Stonehenge? Everybody gets together for a big picnic? <laughs> Just so we can set our watches hey, for the rest of the year. Uh, I'm going to be serious for a second and do me a favor and quit that religion and get into some Christianity. I am into Christianity. I'm a Lutheran. Mm. I'm sorry, Mikey, you were saying? No, so on uh, Monday, I can only eat salad, nuts, vegetables. <laughs> Is this just a health thing? No. That's sweet. And what else you got to do? You got to work out on the treadmill an hour a day? This is not a religion. Well, that's what I do. You're just trying to get in shape. <laughs> no. We At just... what point do you have to worship in the tanning bed? <laughs> that's tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, like, Holy Thursday is next Thursday for us. So that's my metalave. Which Excuse is me? My, that's my communion. Whereas, like, uh, most... My communion would be a piece of steak. Mmm. <laughs> Catholics go like every Sunday, and they're supposed to get the wafer and and get communion every yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah, the body of Christ, right? Not just a wafer, right? I you act like that. that drives me nuts when people call it the cracker, the cookie. Right. I, I know. <laughs> well, we get bread. I mean, we get bread. You, you get the body of Christ. It's the Holy Eucharist. Right. I understand. You understand, understand. that? It's not a piece exactly of bread or a crack or anything else. But um, that's literally the body of Christ. Yes. We only Scientifically do. proven that when that goes in your mouth, that is the actual physical body of Christ. Got his DNA. That is not, and people don't ever, even Catholics don't understand this. That is not a symbol of Christ. 
That is literally Christ. That's what you have to understand. Well, you're not even supposed to take it unless you have that concept. That, yes. That you but know you're actually partaking of the, the body of Christ. But nobody gets that. No, uh, yeah, you're right. Very few people understand that. Well, we only get it once a year. We only have to do it once a year. So that's why we make a big deal of, out of not eating meat or anything from an animal. And again, that's cheese. Uh, it, it can be... A, a, a so your body's thing. all pure to accept the Holy Eucharist. Correct. The body of Christ. Right. And then Friday would be like next so Friday. So you only get Friday. one communion a year. Yeah, we only have to do it once a year. Boy, what if you miss that? Well, then you're in big trouble. <laughs> I know, I, I freak out. And here's the biggest thing. Wednesday night... At midnight, after that, I can't have anything touch my lips, so I can't kiss my wife, which is a, which could be a blessing in disguise. You can't ride home with Ari Elvis. <laughs> That's stuff from Greeks. I'd sip a guy's dick. All right, well, now, why can't you have anything? What about a glass of water? No water, and, and here's the most disgusting part. When you wake up Thursday morning, because Thursday morning is when I go to get my communion. My Holy body. Thursday. Holy Thursday. I can't brush my teeth. And you're using the same spoon from everybody else that's at the church. So you know that you have God knows what on that spoon. What kind of homeless thing are you following here? This is what I've been told all my life. So nothing can touch my lips from midnight. I think that uh, thing is start, uh, stroking the gunk off of it. What, a water pick or something like that? When do you get to eat? Um, I don't get to eat until uh, next Saturday. We're all going to have for steaks tomorrow. Well, I'm going to have to miss it. I'm sorry. You don't want just a, a side salad? Side salad I could have. Chef salad. Oh, no, you can't. There's meat in there. I can't have it. Just have a piece of pepperoni tonight. I can't do it. Please. No, I just can't do it. You sure? I'll burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> do you really think so? That's what First I of all, if you are, you're such a proud Greek, right? You've turned your back on your real uh, religion, Zeus. <laughs> and Aphrodite, Athena, Apollo, the whole gang. That's, How do you know all these people? That's the old gang. Wait a minute, who's Zeus? Is he Zeus. underwater? No. No. Oh, that's Poseidon or something? Poseidon is the uh, underwater Greek god. All right, who's Apollo? Apollo. The what? guy who fought Rocky. <laughs> Apollo, I think, no, no, that's... um. I forget who Apollo is. I, I don't... set him up. He knocks him down. You notice that, Mike? He had all white. <laughs> and he only played in there. Apollo is what? Son? Son. Son That's God? Right. He's Zeus's son. Hermes is... Right, that's your real religion. Why don't you go back to that and start eating some lamb for yourself? Mm -hmm. Lamb is uh, next Saturday at midnight. All right, here's Dale. Dale, you're on run a fez. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Dale. How's it going? What can we do for you tonight, buddy? Well, you asked the question on Catholic dietary practices. Those practices were started at the Nicene Council in 340 A.D. when the Gentile early church and the Jewish early church split and formed the Roman Catholic Church. What's that? Say that again. Who split? Who split up at the Nicene Creed? Yes, in 340 A.D. in uh, Rome... The, church, the early church, which was a combination of Gentile and Jewish Christians, had a large council. The power and political structure in the early church had swayed from being predominantly Jewish to being predominantly Gentile. And the power structure being Gentile broke away, creating the Catholic Church, specifically to be not confused with the Jewish church, they invented many holidays meant like Christmas and Easter. That would be they held had, right around the same time as the Jewish holidays. Right, because there was a competition for worshipers and, of course, their money. So you saw the advent of things that were similar. Sunday worship instead of Saturday worship. Um, dietary regulations of the Jewish faith, but we got dietary regulations in the Catholic faith. So it was that uh, convention where they came up with No Meat Fridays. Yeah, that's where you find the foundation of it in, in, in Catholicism. That's where it started. And over the centuries, it, you know, it's changed here and there, but basically the same thing. I right, thank you very much. Now, where did the Greeks come into this? I think the Greeks were before the Catholics. No. I mean, the Orthodox were before the Catholics. Well, how could they be? 
Who was the first pope? I guess that, that was a Catholic pope. But again, we don't have popes. I'm not, you know, like into the historical. Who ran the first, oh, you're not in the historical thing, and yet he's willing to uh, pray to Zeus. <laughs> you know who his pope is? Tiny Zeus Lister. <laughs> He was good in Friday. Yeah. Your, your God steals bikes, just so you know. And people's gold chains. So the first pope was Peter, right? That's right. Peter. Right from the get go. I don't know. Literally saying Jesus is right hand man. I'm again, we don't believe in popes. I right, let's so, let's suppose here's the thing. Let's suppose Fez was God, right? Okay. Yay. And then uh, and Fez dies, you know, the son of God, that's Fez. I start to say, here's what Fez had to say, right? Right. I'm his best buddy. Here's Fez's thing. And all of a sudden, some guy I never met goes, no, here's what Fez really meant. I'd be like, what the <laughs> hell are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Ron. Well, that's why that's what I want to say to you Lutherans and everybody else on the outskirts. Wait a minute. I was just God. Well, that's why there's so many Gospels. You no, there's one Gospel. Isn't there like a gospel of Mark and then Matthew and all that? Shake those. Uh, all right. Do yourself a problem to shake it loose. Okay. I want you to... Uh, uh, I want, <laughs> they all tell the same stories. I want you to go back and really try to become a real Greek. Okay. And get all those many guts. Okay, I'll try to do that. So when you say you're Greek Orthodox... Yes. Is there anything after Orthodox? Meaning, I don't, I don't know what you mean. Like some people can be Orthodox Jewish. Right. Orthodox well, Catholics. Orthodox Jews and Orthodox um, Greek Orthodox and Russian Orthodox. We follow the same calendar. That's why we follow. But there's nothing after Orthodox. No. It's just that that's the religion, the Greek Orthodox. That's right. the whole name of it. That's correct. All right. Seems like you need a blank filled in there. Hey, you know, and then again, I do I'll some I'll give you $100 stuff, to have so. some steaks tonight. $100 for steak. 200 can't do it. Three hundred dollars for a steak. I can't do it. You get that kid of yours, that Harry Potter DVD she's been wanting. Uh, what if I said a million dollars? A million dollars? Yeah. No. Two million. I don't know, two million. We may be talking. All right, you see this? <laughs> so there is a price. <laughs> Everyone's got a price for the million dollar god. Hey, somebody sent me this thing online. The uh, the WWJD, do you know what that means, Fez? Oh, is that the what would Jesus do? Well, this one was what would Judas do? Oh. And you try to live your life thinking, what would Judas do in this situation? Normally just turn it on your friends. Yeah, turn on your friends, betray people, take the money. And then hang yourself. Go out and hang yourself. All right, let me ask you this, Fezzy. And I know a lot of people don't like to talk about religious things, but you know quite a bit. That, and you've got to... The, I would say the best Luther Vandross musical collection I've ever heard. I don't have a single CD. Did Judas have a choice? Did he have to do that role to play this thing out? They definitely needed Judas in the plan. I mean, if Jesus hadn't been betrayed, he wasn't going to get handed over. He wasn't going to go to trial and get crucified. They needed the person to betray him. So it was his destiny. Yes. He couldn't help it. That was the plan, because when he went to the garden to pray before he got turned over, before he got betrayed, you know, he was asking God, do we have to go through with this plan? He didn't want to do it. But he said, if that's the deal, I'm in. So why is everybody mad at him? At Judas? Yeah. He, he's, got the, uh, he's got the bad rep. He was the betrayer. But he but, had to do it. I think he had to do it. What he didn't have to do is go hang himself. Well, he's felt so bad. You're not going to blame a guy for feeling so bad. No, I don't blame him for feeling so guilty. But that was his own choice to go and hang himself. All right, let me ask you this. Yes. Judas in heaven or hell? Judas. Judas is in hell. Really? Yeah. After he played this whole thing out? Not for the, not for the betrayal. For the hanging himself. Anybody who killed themselves is in hell? Yeah. What about if you sacrifice your life for somebody else? I said no. it's killing yourself. It is killing yourself, but with different intentions, different motives. Maybe what he was thinking is, maybe if I kill myself, people will pay better attention. I think that's what he did. 
So it had to have a complete tragic end. Yeah. I who's all in hell? Who is all in hell? Just people who killed uh, themselves? No, and people who don't repent of their sins. They did horrible things and didn't repent. If Hitler repented, he's okay? Yes. Wow. But what you really got to do is make sure you get a disease and not shot in this world. Yeah, you so you have, have the time to repent. You ha And that's what I would say if I got shot. I said, hey, I was literally planning on repenting. And I took a bullet in the back. Yeah, I don't know how much you get to plead your case. But probably not a lot. Believe me, I'll be pleading. And I'll be called, I would be like this. I now would like to call Albert Einstein to the stand. <laughs> I bet he gets called a lot. If they try to keep <laughs> me out of heaven, Fezzy, they're taking me kicking and scratching out of there. You're going to wreck the joint on your way out. I'll be holding on. Look into your heart! <laughs> <laughs> Look into your heart! <laughs> we'll take a break. We're right back. It's Ron and Fez.